Well, let's have a look at the structure of a vein, a small artery and a small venule and a post-capillary venule. On the bottom left-hand side of the image, the section on the left-hand side, and on the bottom of the left-hand side of the image on the right-hand side, is a section through a small artery. It's nice and circular. It's got a thick wall of smooth muscle. But have a look at the vessel on the left-hand image on the top right. Large lumen, much thinner wall. That's a small vein. On the right-hand section, down the bottom, again, large lumen, relatively small wall. That again is a small vein. So that's how you can tell the difference between a small artery and a small vein closely next to each other or in the tissue. And again, look at the dimensions, the relative thickness of the walls of these two vessels relative to the lumen diameter. Up on top of the image on the right-hand side is a large lumen or space. You can actually see blood cells within this lumen and a very, very, very thin wall. This is a very small venule. It's called a post-capillary venule. Often small venules and post-capillary venules are very different or very difficult, rather, to distinguish. But these very small venules are the end part of the capillary bed. They're receiving blood that's gone through all the capillary beds and that blood is accumulating in these venules and then they'll finally move on to be larger venules and larger veins as they move towards the heart. So make sure you can understand how to distinguish the structures between a small artery, a small vein or venule and then also the post-capillary venules. I think if you look at the right-hand image again and down the bottom, that small structure with a very thin wall is probably a small venule, whereas above is a post-capillary venule. But really the distinction isn't that critical. It's just to make sure you have an understanding that blood flows down through an artery, goes into a capillary bed, which have very, very thin walls to allow diffusion, and we'll talk about those in a moment, and then that blood passes into small veins, smaller venules, and then post-capillary venules, and finally back into larger veins and back into the cardiovascular system to return that blood back to the heart. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.